want to give one final piece of advice before we actually dive into the framework. Cool? Yeah. yeah. Okay. How many guys are from Two Comic Quebecs? <laughs> yeah! My people! What's up? How many guys took the One Funnel Weight Challenge? <laughs> nice. A lot of you guys. I tend to yell a lot on that. <laughs> like, Russell, what's the point of One Funnel Weight? He's like, you need to filter out the people who would be terrible for our customer support. I'm like, all right. Right? And then people fall out. Okay. <laughs> that, was, uh, that was one of the purposes of it. All right. You made it. <laughs> uh, how many guys are in Offer Lab? <laughs> yeah. What's up? That's awesome. Uh, Secret MLM Hacks. I know a lot of you guys came for that as well. That's awesome. Very cool. Now, I have uh, uh, coached over 25,000 people in this now. And every time I speak, um, I am marketing, 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 right? I'm, I'm saying my thing. There's always two groups of people that come from what I teach. The first group of people is somebody's like, I see how I could apply that to my situation, right? And the other person is somebody's like, ah, but Stephen, I'm an, I have a unique obstacle in my way, right? Very unique. And what's interesting is they self-select. I don't tell you that, just decide. This is how, okay, I'm going to act. When I learn something, how does it work for me? It's funny, I was, uh, I was on an event and I was, it was, uh, it was an e-com event, and so I, I taught this whole model for like two hours or something on e-com funnels. And then they're like, well, so we walked up, well, I'm in a different scenario. See, I'm selling this thing that's tangible, that's tiny, that I ship when I, someone buys it. I was like, that's e-com! What is wrong with you? Just like look at it and say, okay, this is how it works for me, right? Anyway, <laughs> anyway, so just please decide right now that this, is, this works for you, All right? Um, this is the other reason why people don't Make it. You, you're gonna learn here that, th that's a picture from the thing in my garage. It just shows my Photoshop and skills. That's about as best as it gets, okay? <laughs> you like that? <laughs> it's proof design, is that what you need? Okay? Most people ask, like, Stephen, what's my next step? Now, that's a very honest, epic question to ask. What is my next step? And I have that question frequently. What's my next step? Okay? The answer, I don't wake up every day and someone's like, Stephen, here's what to do next, <laughs> right? What I do is I look at my framework. In fact, how I created my presentations is with the very framework I'm teaching, which is really interesting, <laughs> okay? Just brainstorm some of the things that you think you could go do and go do that. The reason I'm saying this is that it was about a year into ClickFunnels, I had created this program that became the Two Comic Quebec program, and uh, uh, I was sitting next to Russell, and, and he goes, hey, um, he was, he was teaching his inner circle. And he sits back after a while. He was a full day of coaching. And he sits back, he's right there, you know. So he, he mutes into that, that office we sat back to back. He kind of leans back. Oh, and I turned around, I was like, dude, he muted himself, turned off the video, a little breath. And I go, you're saying the same thing to everybody. <laughs> he goes, I know, isn't that funny? <laughs> and I said, yeah, a little bit. And we, we decided, like, what if we made it easier on you by putting a program in between you and, and them that they can go deep dive on so you're not spending these full days? And I went through 12 years of his content. It took me six months. And I organized all the stuff. And um, we we're getting ready. To, we wanted to test it. And you'll notice that every time Russell's going to do a book, every time he does some major course, he always teaches it at an event. <laughs> what I'm doing right here? Okay. <laughs> Watch the next six months, there's a plan. I'm not just doing this, okay? Okay, watch what I'm doing. And what he would do is an event to test the material. Well, he invited his inner circle so we could test the program I had created. He gets up and as we're walking out onto the stage, okay, we're over here on the side and we're around the corner, okay? We're around the corner and we're walking up on the stage and before we get on, he turns to me and he goes, dude, do you want to introduce me? And I was like, <laughs> right, what? I was so scared, and I immediately was like, Russell, what's the framework? <laughs> Russell, what's the script? How, what's the MC script? That's what I asked him, and he started laughing at me, and he took me by the arm, and we walked back out of the event, back to another room, and he faced me, and he goes, I have to tell you something. It is impressive to me how well you model me. Not many people do that. That is crazy, amazing how well you model me, but you have got to learn your own voice now. That changed my life. It was the first time Steve was born on stage, okay? And he handed me the mic, and he's like, 
what would you do? Okay, and there's this moment where, this is why I'm talking about it. There's a, gonna be a moment where you know enough. Just cut the cord, right? And float on and be on your own. And he said, what would you do? And I said, you know what? This is what I would go do. He said, sweet, then do that. Okay, just do that. Learning to you, learn, learning to trust you and lean in is all part of it. This is actually a self-therapy thing I kind of started doing. I never planned on sharing with anybody. This is all the stuff that people send to me when they're thinking about how much they hate my guts or my big eyeballs, okay? Um, but it's just what happens, okay? People are like, oh, I hate you. Oh, you're dumb. Oh. And there's some very real things. It's a combination of my own self-talk and the things that my audience tells me. And I write it on this thing in permanent marker. And then in fr- across the front says, forgive and grow. And... Um, uh, I put, I, 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 I challenge you, if you get nothing else from this event, confront the beast, okay? That's what I try to do on that. There's been many times I've lost skin on my hands from this thing. It's a real thing for me. And it might sound cheesy, it might be stupid, whatever, but I focus on what I'm, what people are saying. I look at it, confront the beast, right? And I, I freaking cried in front of that thing, okay? Because there's been times where I'm like, I don't know how to do this. There's been times where I told my wife, I feel another growth coming on. I don't want it. I don't. Gosh, growth means growing pains, right? Like, oh, we all wanted to be Russell. We all want to be somebody else. Russell's a different person today than he was when he hired me. I've watched him grow, right? Same thing with me. It will require you to stretch. And the faster you get comfortable with this uncomfortable space, the faster it's going to happen. I had no idea that that was going to be a requirement. It's, it's, again, one of the reasons why I did not make money those first few attempts. So I was like, so focused on being distracted by the next skill set, the next course, the next book, the next guru, the next CD, that's right, 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 right. And I got stuck and addicted to learning rather than doing. And I had to put the book down. I remember the day I consciously decided, stop learning. Boom. What are you going to do? That's when stuff started happening. That's actually when I got that first funnel client. Okay, I am the least likely success story. How many of you guys know you are as well? You've come to the right place. Okay. Um, I uh, kicked out of the first semester of college. I had a near clinical level of anxiety and fear speaking to adults, something I'm still going to therapy for, just did on Friday. Okay, this event, probably some of the worst timing could be in my personal life, right? But I have never in my whole life, ever once, ever, not one time, ever had somebody knock on my door and go, the moons have aligned. (laughs) Just do it, right? It's never going to come at a good time. Just do it, okay? I have had many people suggest that I have ADHD. I don't know now, whatever. But whatever acronym afterwards, I don't know what I have. I have uh, uh, a thirst for marketing, I guess. (laughs) Uh, I was 35% body fat for quite a while. I was a big kid and uh, ended up tr- doing ton- tons of training, got down to 6% doing sprint triathlons. That's when I met my wife and uh, started then less than broke, old 26 grand, uh, 40 grand actually, 40 grand. I had huge false beliefs around money. And the whole point of this, and if I could just, I'm going to teach some amazing stuff. It works. Tens of thousands of people have come through it now. The thing that, do- that, that stops people has nothing to do with the framework I'm about to teach. It's always on their own ability to execute it and apply it to their life. Sound good? Yep. Say it because I love you. Sound good? Yes. Delio. Okay. <laughs> so, Russell was kind of my Mr. Miyagi, right? <laughs> beep, beep, beep. <laughs> when I got to that first one on Hacking Live, I didn't have any money, right? I had nothing. <laughs> And um, I wouldn't have worked for Russell if I had the money, I would not be in front of you either, if I had the money to get to that first Funnel Hacking Live event. Whoa. Because I was broke, because of that obstacle, I was required to learn the skill set in a manner most never will. Okay? And it's why when somebody's like, I'm broke, I'm like, congratulations. Right? You know, I want to clap for her and be like, yeah! You got your answer on the next step. It is in front of you, right? When someone's like, Stephen, I don't have any time. Perfect. Can you imagine the systems that will come from that? But instead, people are like, they say this way, I'm broke, right? Or they say, I don't have any time. Man, I didn't either. 
The fact that you, you have to sit back and look at it and look at the obstacle. The obstacle is the way, right? And you sit back and go, okay, this is standing in front of me. Most people are like, what do I do next? What's sucking in my life right now? Oh, that's probably it then, <laughs> right? You got to face it and move right towards it. It's not fun, okay? But at the moment you can sit back and go, oh my gosh, I, I, I get it. Suddenly you'll be a year and a half after leaving your job and look back and go, holy crap, why did this happen so fast? Okay, just get comfortable with being uncomfortable. And it's, it's amazing what happens to you on that, okay? Break yourself on the goal. Stop changing the goal. Set the goal and unapologetically move towards it. And what you do is you allow yourself to break on the goal. And then you pick yourself back up. And you're like, holy crap, I'm stronger than I was. Steve couldn't speak on stages three years ago, <laughs> right? I still was avoiding people physically when I saw them. It's a real thing for me. I've had to learn to overcome it, okay? But I haven't changed the goal. And I'm like, oh, let me run at it. Oh, that sucks. <laughs> right? oh, and suddenly you turn around, you're like, dang, I'm the best educator of myself ever, right? And the goal becomes that. Learn to love it. Learn to love it. And that honestly is going to be one of the things that, that helps you like crazy with this, okay? Um, your business only grows to the level that you do. You will not get rich playing safe all the time. I mean, inside. You know what I mean? Before I came on stage, um, I was doing, <laughs> I, have a, I have a routine for getting Steve out. The, 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 the camera guys and video guys that are, you know, kind of falling around. They, I was here early this morning. They were ta taking pictures. I was coming out of the stage over here. I was coming out of the stage over here, and they're doing, you know, slow-mo shots. It's all about the B-roll, right? <laughs> so, so we're doing shots and stuff like that, and multiple times on the sides, they're like, hey, man, like, be more like, you know, Mm, you know, like own the space. And S Stephen was here 15 minutes before, and so I was doing all these. It's it's my my way of getting uh, Steve, is I I do a lot of planks on my knuckles, <laughs> and I just sit there. I just listen to David Goggins swear at me, and I listen to rage music, and I and I'm like, I oh, know you're in there, son. <laughs> yeah, wow, he's here, son. Right, and that's kind of how it happens, right? But it's true. It'd be like inside the hardest part you'll ever have with this game. It's what I'm going to teach you is so easy to make money with. But that's not the hard part. Standing up inside of you is the hard part, okay? And just know that this is a safe room, a safe environment, a safe community for that to happen because I have such deep empathy for it because of how hard it's been for me personally, okay? I have very little sympathy. I have massive empathy, okay? <laughs> Makes sense? Uh, two, two weeks ago, um, I was sitting down chatting with Mandy Keene, who has personally changed my life. She's one of the inner circle coaches, and she's an amazing, uh, amazing person. And uh, she goes, why do you think it's happened so fast? And without hesitation, I was like, because I don't lose. I learn. There's no such thing as failure. It really isn't. I wouldn't be doing this if I hadn't gone through 30, if I had skipped the last try, I wouldn't be here. You see what I'm saying? 34 personalized sucky lessons, right, that allowed this to happen. I want you to know that.